This video is all about how to get the latest May 2019 version of Windows 10. Now you'd probably be noticing that Microsoft is rolling it out very slowly. Now if you go to Windows Update and check for updates you probably wouldn't see the feature update and as you can see on this computer we're still on 1809. Now there are a couple of ways to do it. One, you can go to the Microsoft website and it will give you basically an option to upgrade at the top or use the media tool. What we have done, we're using Chrome, okay, we've just opened up Chrome. All we have done to actually get the disk image is go to more tools and then developer tools that opens up this little window over here and I've changed the operating system from basically the standard Windows operating system that is being shown to Microsoft to an iPad or you could try any of that. When you do this, Microsoft's website actually says, hey, you're not using a Windows 10 computer because I've set it as an iPad. And it actually allows you to directly download the ISO file, the DVD file to do the update. So there you go, you just click on that, confirm, and then basically it'll ask you to change, choose the language, choose which one is suitable for you. English International, you could choose English or whatever. Okay, for example over there, then confirm. It'll ask you to do a 64-bit or a 32-bit download. Once you click on that, um, most computers are 64-bit, however some of the tinier tablets and older versions are 32-bit. What you do is just click on there and it'll download. We have already downloaded it, I'll just close that. It generally goes to the downloads folder and all we did was go there and then copied it. You will see this file, which is the international version. All you need to do is double click on that and it literally opens up as a CD-ROM or a DVD in this case. Now, click on Setup, say Yes. They're all official Windows files directly from the Microsoft website. Okay, so what we're doing is we want to install this and we're going to click Next. Once you've clicked Next a few times, it did a few little checks of the computer. And make sure it comes up with Keep Personal Files and Apps. That is most important. Because if it doesn't say that, you're going to basically be getting a fresh install with everything wiped. Okay, it checked everything and click Install. Okay, and after a number of restarts, it finishes upgrading. And as you can see, we have version 1903, which is the latest May 2019 version. Some interesting things about this. This may be the last automatic Windows 10 upgrade. Okay, uh, it might be something similar to Windows 7 when they were trying to upgrade it to Windows 10 or Windows 8 where you would get the little kind of like notification saying there is an upgrade, do you want to upgrade? Okay, however, security patches, normal updates instead of upgrades should be like normal. Okay, and as I have mentioned in a previous video, you do have a short time if you find any problems with this, um, your games are not working or whatever, your hardware is not working, you can go back. Um, your old files are stored in this. You will see a link over here about how to preserve this because you only have a short time, roughly about 10 days. I shall show you just one more quick thing. It is basically go over here open up settings and then you go to update and then you find recovery. So if you do decide to go back within the time period, 
you click over there go back to previous vision version of Windows 10 which will bring you back to your previous 1809 or the one before that okay so hopefully this has helped and have a great time and thank you for watching